But your Pullman AC controls. Um, all right, controls, air conditioning, cooling, and heating equipment is controlled by the Vapors Company number A as AZ43831. The MD automatic air conditioning control panel, C figures 107, 108, and 109. This panel differs from pre war panels that if it was more fully automatic, it requires minimum operation by crew car. Once the panel is set, only a given set. Uh, give, um, once the panel is set on any given setting, the car temperature is automatically controlled and shifts the heating and cooling with the vice versa with no attention. The blower uh, fan switch two position off of normal. The number seven one twenty two cat number K two one seven two is provided. Switch has two sets of contacts in place. Panel operation provides one speed operation of the blower fan. In off position, all contacts are open. With the blower fan relay de-energized, its contacts open circuits to cooling overheated and the and overhead heat. Floor heat remains under control of the 50 degree layover thermo. It's in the normal position, contact closed and energizes the blower fan relay exhaust fan fan runs at full speed. Temperature selector switch, a three position night cooler and warmer temperature selector which provide with the all allow temperature selection switch is divided into two circuits. One circuit operates in place of the uh, one of three resistors in the series overhead compensating tube heaters. Windings um, tube without compensation regulates at 70 degrees. With the temperature switch set in the night position circuit is made through the 250-50 AP resistor to the tube heater winding. This applies to 11 degree heat electrically to the tube and it operates at 65 ambient temperature. In cooler position, the circuit is completed through a second 250 2550 AP resistor, which allows the 11 degree electrical heat in the tube again to operate at 65 degrees. In the warmer position, the circuit is completed through the 2550 AG resistor, which applies at 2 degrees of heat electrically, and the tube operates at 74 degrees. The overhead heat is maintained at 65 degrees on the night, setting on the 65 on the cooler and setting and 74 on the warmer setting the other switch circuit operates in a series with a heater winding on the three compensation tubes C figure 11 um, 0 or 110 cooling 70 degrees cooling modulation 70 degree 8 degrees heating interlocking 74 tubes these two heater windings are in a series on one setting of the temperature switch which have the same heat applied with electrically tube heater windings as equal resistance to 1600, sorry, 600 ohms, but because of the difference is uncompensated regulating point, they will regulate a different temperature as follows. Position switch, night switch, um, electrical heat applied 7, cooling heating um, regulation at 69 degrees, CM tube re regulating at 71 degrees, heating interlocking regulation at 67. Cooler, um, cooler electrical heat applied 7, Cooling tube heat regulation 69, heat CM tube regulation 71, heat interlocking at 67 degrees. Warmer, electrical heat applied to cooling tube regulating at 74, CM tube regulating at 76, heat interlocking at 72. Shows the wide regulation switch um, with the cooler, cooler modulation and the heat uh, interacting. These are the... Uh, the, tur the tubes and then the circuits do the warm cooler at night on a rheostat with a wadge regulator. The wadge regulator is provided to supply the measured quantity heat and compensating thermo cube tubes over a wide range of battery voltage. Water regulator consists of a special 300 degree mercury tube, a shunt relay, necessary resistor, wadge regulator functions as follows, see figure 11, 111. When blower fan switch is turned the normal position, contact energized blower fan relay. Blower fan relay contacts complete circuit through 200 ohm resistors energized with the cold which watt regulator relay. 300 mercury tube is connected in parallel with the cool coil wattage regulator relay. This tube will open since the tube is affected with very little ambient temperature and respond with quickly the electrical applied heat. Contact wattage regulator relay completely a circuit to allow the comp comp compensating thermo tube reheater rewindings to the heater winding at 300 wattage regulator tube. When the regular voltage is 56 degrees per mercury, wattage regulator tube will not rise far enough to complete with the tube circuit. The full applied voltage passes the compensating tube heater winding circuits. All right, shows um. 
Watch regulator inner um, circuit in the switch right here with a resistor over the uh, over the uh, watch regulator relay. The two compensated thermo heater circuits, 600 ohms, 300 degree watch regulator tube, 100 ohms going um, and a blower fan relay contact with a blower fan relay contact on the other 100 ohms. All right, back out of this um, shows the uh, number seven one six nine seven one nine five receptacle fuses, fuses on the left, heater interlock lo lo look relay coil, emergency heat switch, relay coil, outside selection relay, um, thermal relay layover, uh, thermal relay layover, um. Uh, Blower fan switch term, temperature control switch, blower fan relay, watt regulator relay, uh, mo module re regulator relay, pilot relay, regulator relay, then a whole bunch of stuff. Um, when applied voltage exceeds 56 volt with the mercury wattage regulator tube, the short coil with the water reg wattage regulator relay, the contact with the regulator relay opens the voltage compensate with the compensating thermo he tube heater winding and circuits. Here circuits are of the 300 degree wattage regulator tube. When the voltage is removed with the wattage regulator of the tube heater circuit with the mercury falls into the tube circuit with again opens the line with the coil tube with the wattage regulator relay to become energized and closing its contacts. Thus, with the battery voltage about 56 volts, wattage regulator relay cycles its contact open cut lows. Supplying voltage main heating compensating tube equals to the given constant supply of 56 volts. No, it is important. And pause this for a second. All right, note it is important for the 600 ohm resistor to maintain with the um the uh since here with the heater winding a 300 degree wattage regulator or tube. Changing on the resistor will change the equivalent operation voltage of the tube heater circuit with this outside selector relay. Outside selector relay is controlled with a single 50 degree thermal located within the fresh air system. Tube in a series with a coil with the outside selector relay with the air being drawn into the car about 50 degrees. Outside selector relay is energized when the relay energizes contact makes circuit with the CI lead with the compressor motor panel. B to cooling and heating interlocking circuits. B to 60 degree layer over tube with emergency heating switch in the normal position. The, um, the, thus, with with outside air temperature of 50 degrees cooling and available to depend upon the cooling tubes, overheated heat, um, heat is all, all available, governed by the overheated heat tube located in the duct. The heater interlocking tube located with the bulkhead will stop the overhead heat when it's satisfied. Floor heat valves may come um, on governed with their individual with the tubes, of the, but the stream is locked out of the loops of flow proportion of the 955 uh, 95.5 regulators. With the outside air temperature below 50 degrees, the outside selector tube and with the outside selector relay de energy over the contacts where the open the flowing result with the cooling cannot operate regardless with the cooling tube calling. Heating interlocks relay with the de energized overheat with the control below only by overhead heat tube. The circuit of the layover tube is broken. Layover heat is energized. Layover heat relay contacts open circuit to the flow of the limit valve. The steam enter for the FH loops. Floor heat and the lab of the governor of the individual accommodations for the FH thermos. Cooling relay. The cooling pilot relay is controlled with a 76 degree cooling tube, which is with the outside of the temperature above 50 degrees Fahrenheit with the tube. And the cooling pilot with the relay is energized. It contacts makes the following circuit. See figure 107. Multi B supply with the A pressure switch circuit. The B, the P relay with the cooling modulating tube M open. C, the B from the load side of the watch regulator through the 2550 AV resistor to the heater winding overhead heat tube. The place is 28 degrees with the tube, overheated tube locking it and out, provided the period of ventilation after cooling is satisfied before overheated can come on, prevent, preventing rapid cycling of the cooling, heating, and the backing um, to cooling. D, the, to the cooling, heating, interlock, heater, winding circuit through the 2550 AD resistor applied with the one quarter of a degree of the heat lock of these tubes, the compressor running of the prevent the reverse cycling. Are the cooling modulating relays controlled with a 78 degree cooling modulating tube? Although both cooling tube with the compensating of the type of the cooling modulating tube will always satisfy with the temperature of the 2 degrees above the cooling tube. The tube is um, up to the cooling modulating relay is energized. 
One contact opens with the circuit to the P relay with the compressor for the runs of the full speed, but the other P M contact is circuit with the full solenoid, freon solenoid valve energized to open the full cooling is obtained with the tube opens with the P relay is energized with the compressor a lot slows to 60% with the full speed with the freon solenoid valve with the D energized and closed. Cutting out half the evaporator with modulating cooling with obtain with the car temperature with a drop of the two additional degrees. Cooling temperature is satisfied which time the compressor stops. Alright, operation. Assuming the condition of the outside temperature is above 50 degrees for the car temperature is 78 degrees for the light switch, the lower flan switch, and the normal pressing with the reset button start with the compressor for the geo genial motor is running low voltage relay. Automatic reset with the compressor will run with the when the blower switch is turned on. Assuming the temperature switch of sweat is set for the warmer position, the car will cool at the full speed with until the temperature with the cooling temperature drops 70 to 78 degrees Fahrenheit. At this time, the compressor will slow to about 60% and the free nine solenoid valve closed to give it the modulating cool. The car will continue to cool modulating speed until it reaches 76 degrees cooling where it will stop. Heat of a heavy heat load may prevent the car from reaching 76 degrees. Some cases it may warm up to 78 degrees at which time the car will go back to full speed cooling. If due to drop outside temperature, the car temperature continues with the drop after the cooling system stops with about 30 minutes with the ventilating while the heat dissipates with the OH tube was required with the overheated with the available with when the cool car temperature over the 74 degrees floor heat is uh, is locked out with the flow limitation portion of the 95.5 regulator. Overhead heat is cycled off on and until the temperature of the heat interlocks until the tube reaches 74 degrees at which time the overheat is off regardless of the overhead heat tube calling with the condition long as uh, outside of the temperature remains above the 50 degrees of the outside of the temperature drop below 6 degrees cooling is off heat interlocking feature is out and then the car temperature is maintained overhead heat overhead tube at 74 degrees floor heat with the setting of the accommodation penimeters through the action of the FH tube and the number MP8726 remote control panels Figure 107 shows the schematic of the master control panel wiring. Figure 108 shows the physical wire diagram of the master control panel. And figure 3 show, three, figure 112 shows the remote control relay. Testing. Use a vapor test met, met, meter. Met, proceed as follows. Be sure the meter is properly voltage for the connecting of the terminals B, M2, and M, M23 and M24. No put the polarity. Calibrator meters with to be in 64 volt line. Remove 300 degree wattage regulator tube from its base. Unplug. Apply the meter leads across the heater windings. Each compensating two meter will read the number of degrees operating point. Tube has been in lower. Now, for example, the checking 74 degrees heating interlocking two meters show the read of two. Selector switch warm position 7 degree inner cooler position 7 degree in on night position. When the heating interlock relay cycle, the meter should show to a change of one degree. Replace the watch relay regulator tube. All right, starting from the back, the cork gasket terminals and rubber jackets with the armature and an auxiliary relay. Um, the BN battery negative, the BN resistor cycling re re reserve ops opposite plugs, relating operating coil relay contacts, tube contactors, fire and fiber insulator, and then you have your contact sight glass, plastic tube frame, plastic O cover. And that's the vapor combined thermostat remote control relay figure 112. An automatic cross compressor cutout relay is located with the electrical locker um, adjacent to the generator control panel figure 113. Show for the shutter done company number C X A 2721 cat number 132. Double contact relay one set contacts for the normally closed making circuits from C1 frigid air compressor control panel throw above the relay C1 on the vapor control panel. These contacts remain closed until the train line switch is closed, and when the relay is energized, the open of the brake circuit with a compressor panel. The purpose of the prevent the draining of the car battery of the joining the car when train line circuit circuit is complete with the interlocking relay with the generator control panel, which closes the generator reach for the operating speed, thereby completes the circuit with the cross comp compressor panel. This will ensure the compressor operation when the generator is working regardless of the position of the train line switch. It is important that the train line switch be left. In the open position, connector not applied will when needed not needed in closing switch of the car joining car with connector in position will activate relays in each car. Or right, so you have your vapor control panel and this goes into your um, CIX compressor jumpers, normally closed combined frigid air compressor pro panels, shutters Dunworth compressor cutout with the jumpers and then the coil. 
on the train line switch, um, generator control panel interlocking relay. All right, notes, and this is reproduced by the West Ispal Schools. Electrical systems. We're going to pause the tape there. All right, your electrical system. Combination of the two systems is used for lighting the incandescent lights with 64 volt direct current applied with the battery with the generator regulated with the safety code with the S1050E lamp regular regulator. Marker light outlets are applied with a 32 volt with the direct current and by reducing 64 volt battery current through a bank resistor. Batteries, batteries are XI, XI EPTA 25C 64 volt 32 cell mono block with a specific gravity of 2550. Rated at 600 amper hour capacity at 8 hour 8 hour rate. Batteries are arranged in two units, 32 volt each. Units are wired with a double pole, with a double throw disconnect switch to allow 64 volt charging units in series, and a 32 volt charge when units are in parallel. It is important that the switch be left in the 64 volt position after charging to avoid opening batteries. Fluorescent lights used with a 110 volt alternating current supply with a safety code with the type of the MG24 motor alternating number 316630 cat number E12162 rated at 3000 watt capacity of the motor alternators regulated at safety company step the starting panel number 313068 with number 307072 fuse 125 amps as mounted with the re resilient mounting safety company number 310520 operations described in the car lighting maintenance manual the pages 961 120 the main switchboard is equipped with a single pole, single throw knife switch with a battery circuit with a double pole, single throw knife switch and the train line circuit switch is rated at 200 amps. The main switch for the cat number E8852 with a circuit breaker type rated with 100 amps trip the out with a 220 amp circuit breaker with a cat number E7584 used for brand circuit using direct current. The three pole circuit breakers are used for the fluorescent lighting circuits. Third pole being with the DC circuit is to start with the motor alternator. Pilot lights and announcer lights, exhaust fans, water cooler are protected with the convenient uh, interventional fuse plugs. The call bell system is similar with the type that you for the present lightweight cars using the four dry cell with the power train line features Edward Company Announciator you for the have the two six watt sixty four volt lamps controlled by a small relay known by the light relay. The light relay is composed of the blank drop operating against two spring contacts usually located with the lower right hand corner of the denunciator. Resetting the announcer opens with the relay contacts. Bell ring diagram is shown in figure 114. Show for the chime relay, the announcer drop, the wattage, announcer lamp, the lamp relay. Um, positive and negatives to the chime and push buttons with the battery um, um, panel, the uh, parallel and series. Positive and negative push buttons, voltage, DC relay, a car to batteries. All right, fluorescent lighting. The average life of the fluorescent type light is dependent on the number of the, all the types of light turned with the under the condition of the lamp burns almost continuously through the rated life of the lamp. It's more likely to be obtained through the one of the turned off than one at a short interval in general. The characteristics of all fluorescent lamps are, and are, are the same. See page 96 to 106 for the year car lighting maintenance manual with the interior of the construction of the BI and B, 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 BI pin incident with the start. Slime line lamps are identical with the BI pin. The heat preheat star with the type of lamp. The BI pin instantly start with the pin short with the circuit of the inside of the caps will be an operative with the preheat ballast circulators. The slime line it has a fil fil filament coil supports the connected together form of single contact each end of the lamp. With these arrangements, the filaments cannot be preheated. Um, therefore, by com to compensate for the lack of preheating by the br brighter volt by by higher voltages and press the crop of the terminal to force electrons across through the lamp, the high voltage produces a severe shock of the electron emitting surface of the filament cathode. Some coating cathode flakes off. This is repeated for each of the star lamp unit, and eventually the lamp will not burn. A character for the instant start circuit for the difficulty of the starting with the under condition where the uh, the humidity is high. Since you're starting under these conditions, the a thin metallic strip or strip of starving stri starting strip is painted on the outside lengthwise of the lamp that provides a path of electrons to pass through the cathode to cathode produced with the capacitate of the action, which um, assures starting under all conditions. The in instant start and slime lamp um, 
Slam land, slime line lamps do not starters. Do not, do not use starters, but do not blink on and off um, when the lamp fails to start. Therefore, the section pertaining to start with the compensator does not apply. Behavior chart which file would apply with the particular star of fluorescent lamps. All right, your watchdog reset starter for the star. Use the glow switch principle with the normal starting with the switch function that are explained. In page 100 of the car lighting maintenance van with the is ab with the feature with the consistent of the wire can coil with a heater element with the actuating by metal by metallic strip which holds a second switch to normal closed position lamp is defectively while or will not start for the same reason after repeated attempts by blinking on and off enough the heat will develop the trip of the switch open in the circuit to stop the blinking when the lamp is replayed with the star is reset by the pushing the reset pushing button down. No, fluorescent lamps do not have um, voltage rating marked on the lamp, but they are governed instead of the length of the diameter by wads. This means that the lamp of any given length of the diameter and wads can be used on any circuit with any voltage with the proper ballast. It should be remembered the function of the ballast is to deliver the fluorescent lamps with the proper light voltage current required. Lamp voltage current varying the length of the diameter and the wads. If valve, they, they show the ballast must be the specification of the, use of the circuit of the circuit voltage design of the lamp. Inspection procedures will be outlined in instructions of the superintendent of the yards off of the date of the 1949, first 1949, cover the letter with the July 1st, 1949. All right, and remains um, possible causes accompany um, one, end lamps are lighted with the star failure due to the short circuit condenser of the star of the switch to light well together replace the starter. Um, one, accompanying shimmer to effect with during lighted blinking off relatively new lamp blinking um New installations may circle the wiring and ground pulp with a normal failure, active with the material, the electrodes, exhaust, and voltage needed with the four operations, exceeds voltage supply. Your corrective action is check the circuit wiring and replace lamp. One, um, blinking on and off. One, uh, possible lamp falls, replace lamp, investigate further and scuff lamp, blinking off, flinkering lamp holders. Two, start the effects of causing on and off blinking, prolonged flashing at each other's each start. Replace starter. Three lower ballast rating check ballast four so collect the draft heating tube and close protect lamp. Low circuit voltage um, decrease uh, uh, ease of starting it will last one percent change in light out with a one per change um, percent change in voltage output lagging lamp. Two lamp circuit uh, lamp circuits decrease much as faster than leading lamp. Check the voltage correctly if possible. Six loose circuits linking um, like at lamp holder causing on and off blinking lamp holders rigidly mounted lamp securely seated. And third, you're blinking on and off when two lamp balances one lamp starts and one end over the other blink on and off without starting. Occasionally both lamps may start. Um, individual starter leads for the two pairs of lamp holders may be crisscrossed. If this is the case, one lamp will not make a starting effort unless the other is in its lamp holders. Rewire starter leads. All right, normal end of lamp life. Lamp will not uh, behave. Your lamp will not operate the flashes uh, monetarily that goes off with the blinking on and off. Dense blackening at one end, both with exceed with two to three inches from the base. Blackening generally with one inch off the ends. Blackening early with the life. In this case, active material with electrodes are being spattered off to the rapidly. Your normal failure activity uh, material electrodes exhausted voltage needed to deoperate. Exceed with the voltage supply. Replace lamp. Normal end of life. Replace lamp. Mercury deposits common, especially one inch the lamp should evaporate itself as the lamp is operated. Um, one started effect causing off the linking with a prolonged flashing. Each of the star replaced star. End of lamp remain lighted. Store star starter. Fair to do the short circuit condenser is in the star switch contact, contacts well together. Replace starter. Three no starting compensator leading circuit with two lamp ballast. Insulate the compensator to the star of the leading circuit. None required at 100 watt lamps. Ballast been properly designed outside specification lamp wattage for wattage being ballast being used. Use ballast correct rating for lamp size. Too low lower sight high high salted and blackening too high or low high too high or too high voltage too low or too high voltage check voltage with range. Ballast name plate six low low circuit it's contact. Look, likely lamp holder causing on and off blinking look. Uh, lamp holders rigidly mounted lamp securely seated. All right, your dark streak streaks lengthwise in the tube. Globes of the mercury low or cooler on the part rotate 180 degrees. Mercury evaporated with the increase of the warm through the condensate out of the, the cool side rings. 
Brown rings at one end, but the bolt ends will allow about two inches from the base, sometimes natural development during life. There's no effect on land performance. Dense spots, black and spots one eighth and one half an inch wide, extending about halfway around the tube, centering about one inch from base, normal. But if early in life it indicates the excessive starting operation, check the ballast off rating on the usual high circuit voltage. All right, one, open circuit electrodes due to the broken electrode air leak. Open weld electrode. If open circuit, show the test inspection item number nine below the relay lamp. Two, barren out electrode might cause by placing one end of the lamp across 115, 115 volt open circuit. Show them testing inspection item number nine below below replace lamp. Air leakage lamp test of the test lamp. See item number nine. Leakage in, indicated with an absent glow through the electrode light startup. Replace lamp. Four start at the end of life, replace starter. Starter at sluggish, replace starter. No starting effort, to start, oh, slow starting. Six, uh, no starting compensator leading circuit for the two amp, um, two lamp ballast. Install compensator series for the starter leading, leading circuit the none required at 100 watt lamps. Seven, low ballast re rating, check ballast from eight, remote possibility, open circuit, ballast, check ballast. Nine burned out lamp electrodes due to the broken lamp holder. Lamp holders will be detached to the start socket surface mounted to metal. One strand conductor touched ground fixture and proper wiring DC operation without necessary additional resistance. And then show the grounds for other causes. Determine necessity for example or replacing exam lamp, examining electrodes, viewing bulb against pinhole of the light, test of the condensate, connecting base pin with the series of the test lamp with a 115 volt circuit. Fluorescent glow means intact electrodes, active electrons, correct the test, various lamp sizes for the F lamps, 60 watts at 14 to 40 watts, 25 watts at small diameter miniature, 200 watts at 100 watts. And then number 10, low circuit voltage decrease C with the starting, um, no starting effort on the slow starting, low circuit voltage decrease ease, starting at 1% change light output for the 1% change, change voltage output, lagging lamps in two lamps are going to decrease. Much faster than lead lamp and check the voltage and correct if possible. All right, no starting effort on the slow starting. Um, possible open circuit with its corrective action test lamp and lamp in another circuit with a base of the proper contact lamp hold the voltage of the lamp holder. The other voltmeter 2220 versus 100 watt um, test lamp only connection each hole with those alive. Hence, four ways to check two way lives. Uh, one's no voltage indicating lamp holder. Check the circuit leakers for the holder and still no voltage. Check circuit connection. All right, flicker, no strobing, sh uh, not stro strobing, strostopic effect. Pronounce irregularity. Flicker on lamp directly. Lamp spiraling, swirling, snaking, etc. New lamp may filter flicker. Flicker should correct. clear up after lamp is operated and turned on and off a few times. Starter may not not perform properly to preheat electrodes. Replace starter. No starting condensator compensator and lead of the circuit of the two lamp ballast. Install the compensator to for the child lead circuit with the non required for 100 watt lamps. Ballast for um, improper design outside of um, specification for the lamp watch. Wrong ballast and used. Use ballast correcting rating on the lamp size. Flicker um, flicker suddenly occurs. Uh, no sudden development in any lamp. Normal circuit that should clear up and turn off the non few seconds for seconds. Persistent tendency to flicker, possibly lamp failure, or replace lamp, investigate further successive lamp blinks, blinker, and same lamp holders. All right, decreased light output. Five, dust and dirt lamp, fixture walls and ceiling clean. Um, color and brightness difference of a different color appearance of a different lamp location, same insulation, actual slight difference of white daylight lamps, discernible, perhaps wrong light color lamp. Possible lamps outside of the limits of color standards, apparent color differences may be only difference in brightness of the between old and new lamps. Place lamp if objectionable. Two may be due to reflector finish wall finish in near light or room decor or decorator inner lamp changes before assumed coloring difference. Two lamp operating unequal brilliancy, local circuit voltage decrease ease um, ease of the starting of the one percent change of light output for the one percent change of voltage. Output large lagging lamp of the two um, lamp circuit decreasing much faster than the leading lamp. Check voltage correct and see if possible. If it's noisy, humming sound which may be steady or may be coming back. One slightly transform inherit ballast. Equipment the wire varies different ballast. Objectionable amount may be due to improper insulation, improper ballast design. Mount ballast on soft rubber cable. Um, Celo Texas Central prevent transferring vibration supporting members reduce. Um, do a minimum one shorten the ballast capacitor, replace ballast on capacitor, 
Overheated ballast too pro uh, long blinking tends to heat to the ballast and aggravated the high ambient temperature inside fixture housing. See blinking on and off and behavior corrective causing three short in wire. One mortality laws um that it's a four hundred hour rated four thousand hour rated life with the failure um shorter life although others lamp last much longer than rated hours four hundred hour life. 4,000 4, hour life based on operating lamp, 6 hour for each start. 2 starters defective cause on and off blinking prolong. Replace we'll starter. 3 ends of lamps remain start failure due to the short circuit. The condenser and starting switch contacts well together. Replace we'll starter. Alright, short life. Uh, no starting compensator. Leading circuit with two lamp valves for the install of the compensator. Shoot with the short leading circuit of the note. The, um, none of the required 100 watt, watt, watt lamps. Five ballasts improper design outside specification lamp wires wrong ballast being used. The U ballast is correct rating with the fertile lamp size. Two lamp and high voltage. Check voltage range with ballast name in the plate. Loose circuit contact lightly and lamp holder causing on and off blinking. Lamp holder rigidly mounted lamp securely seated. Eight too many lamp starts. Average life rating based on frequency of starts. One where heater confined around lamp light output is lower. Letter ventilation and fixture. Cold draft hitting tubes enclosure and protect lamp. Decreased light output, lower temperature operation below 65 degrees, light loss at 1% or more than 1 degree per degree Fahrenheit. Enclosed low circuit voltage decrease and starting allow the 1% in light output, the 1% change of voltage with output with lagging lamp. Two lamps circuit decrease with a faster leading lamp. Check voltage correct if possible. All right, show the lamping specification for the New York, New Hampshire, and H, the L, N, Y, N, H, and H radio railroads. Fixture glass shade number to wear. Use the lamps for a fixture switch, starter, and ballast. Park catalog. Various fuses um, shows a, a glass fuse with a screw in thing and then a fusible link. A cartridge. A glass fixture fusible link. A cartridge uh, single blow, 80 amps. Fuse blow circuit cartridge. Fusible links used with cartridge open holders, open fuse links and holders, and that completes the uh, electrical control ACs with the uh, ACs with the. Um, where's the next one? With electrical system combination for the lighting. I don't know if that's the only lighting book, but that's the. Um, Pullman AC control testing.